Hey guys and welcome back to another video. For this video, I'll be going over a Math Kangaroo 2020 test for levels 3 and 4 because the test is coming back and it's Math Kangaroo season because the test is in March so most people prepare around this time. So that's why I thought I would post another solutions video like I did last year. So in this video, we'll be going over Math Kangaroo 2020 levels 3 and 4 and just the three point problems. For this video and the next one, we'll go over four point problems and then finally five. So, let's start with number one. A mushroom grows a little every day. Mary takes a picture of the mushroom each day from Monday to Friday. Which of these pictures was taken on Tuesday? So, Monday to Friday, that's five days. So, we know that when the mushroom is the smallest, it'll be Monday. And when the mushroom is the largest, it'll be Friday. So, let's rank them from largest to sm uh, some smallest to largest. So we see B is the smallest, meaning that it'll be on Monday, because that's the first time, first day. Next sm smallest will be Tuesday, which is this one, because Tuesday is the second day of the week, so it'll be the second smallest picture. Then after Tuesday is Wednesday, which will be this one, because it's the third day of the week and this is the third one in the order. And then it'll be Thursday which is this one because Thursday is the fourth day of the week and this is the fourth mushroom in order and finally this one is Friday because it's the largest mushroom and Friday is the last day in this Monday through Friday so it's asking us which one of these pictures was taken on Tuesday and as we can see if we look at our labels we see Tuesday is E so the answer for number one is E number two which piece completes the pattern so we see here, if we want to complete this figure here, we're going to have uh, a circle here the kind of, that was meant to be like an oval. So let's look which one of them has an oval in the top left corner. So it's B and C do and E does as well. So it can't be D, can't be A. Next on this one, we know we're going to have another triangle. So that's a triangle, oval triangle. So which one has a triangle in the top right corner. We can see E does and we can see B does, so it can't be C. Next, we need a triangle for this one as well. And which one has a triangle here? We can see E does, but not B. But let's just confirm, does it have uh, e, uh, this sort of pattern here where it's like triangle and then it has the top shaded? And we can see that it does. So that means that the answer is E. Number three, Tysger shades all the squares in the grid where the result is 20. Which shape does he get? So let's start on this one. 16 plus 4 is 20. So we're going to shade that. 19 plus 1 is also 20. We'll shade that. 28 minus 8 is also 20. We can shade this. 2 times 10 is also 20. We can shade this. 16 minus 4 is not 20. 16 minus 4 is 12. So it's not, we're not going to shade this one. And then 7 times 3 is also not 20. 7 times 3 is 21. So we're also not going to shade that. And if we look which one has all of these shaded, we can see A does. So that's our answer. Number 4. Which of the following figures has the largest shaded part? So uh, let's start with. A. So, let's count how many full ones first. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 full squares and we have 2 halves and we know 2 halves will make 1. So if we have 12 plus 1, we know A has 13. And now let's count for B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we see a half here, so it's going to be 12 and a half. 
Next, we have C here. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we see we have 3 halves here. And so if we do 11 plus 3 halves, which is 1 and a half, we'll get 12 and a half again. Now let's count D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one also has 12 and a half. And now let's look at E. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we have 1 half here, so 10. I mean 2 halves here, so it'll make 1, so 10. And these two will make 11, and these two will make 12, and we have another half here, 12 and a half again. So it's asking which one has the largest part shaded. A has 13, the rest have 12 and a half, so we know the answer is A. Number five, which of the follow, which one of the figurines below can you make using only these shapes, which are over here? So let's see A. What figures does A have? So A has two of um, these type of triangles, but we can only see one in this picture, so it can't be A. Okay, I kind of missed up on the X. I'll make it better. Okay, B. We see we, it has the square here, but there's no square in this picture, so it can't be B. Now C. It has two circles that are large, but it also has one small circle, and we don't see a small circle here, so we can cross out C. Now D. D has two of these type of triangles, one here and one here, but we can only see one over here, so it can't be D either. And now, if we look at E, it uses all the parts over here. We have the two circles here. Let's just mark them off one by one, just to double check. We have the, this large triangle here, this medium triangle here, and the small triangle here. And finally, this uh, stick or rectangle here. So, that's why the answer is E. Okay, number six. Ellie draws the big square shown in the picture with chalk on the pavement. She starts at the square marked with the number 1 and begins jumping. Each time she jumps, she always jumps on the number that is 3 more than the number she's standing on. What is the largest number Ellie can jump to? Okay, so she starts on 1 and let's see, we have two options. We can go to 4 or we can go to 5. But we want to jump on the one that is 3 more than the number she is standing on. So what's 3 more than 1? We know it's 4, so we're going to go this way. Now after 4, we can either go to 7 or 24. 7 is 3 away, so we're going to go to 7. Or 3 more than, not 3 away, sorry, 3 more than. Next we have either 5, 10, or 23, or 4. And we know that the one that is 3 more than 7 is 10. Now, what's 3 more than 10 out of 7, 8, 14, and 13? Well, it's 13, so we'll continue this way. Now, what's 3 more than 13? Well, we know that it's going to be 16, so we continue. And what's 3 more than 16? 13, 20, or 19? Well, 19 is. And now, what is 3 more than 19 out of all these options? We see none of them are, because 16 is 3 less than 19, 23 is 4 more than 19, and 21 is 2 more than 19, so number, none of them are 3 more than 19. So that's why the answer is D, 19, because it's the largest number that Ellie can jump to. Jorge glues the six stickers to the faces of a cube. The pictures show the cube in two positions. Which sticker is on the face opposite the duck? So let's find the pairs first to see which one's opposite to the duck. So we see the duck is first over here, and then we find it over here face up. So we know we're gonna tilt it once this way, we're gonna tilt it once that way, so it's gonna go down, right? So we're gonna move it down to get it once, and then we're gonna turn it so it reaches this face. So if we move it down once, and then turn it, we see the elephant is on the top. But then we notice how when we turn this one down, 
the ladybug goes to the bottom and the elephant is on the top. So if the ladybug is on the bottom and the elephant is on the top, that means that the ladybug, I'm going to abbreviate it as uh, LB, is to the opposite of the elephant. So this is the first pair. What's the next one? Well, let's see. When it's first like this, we notice how the mouse is over here. So when we move it down, the mouse will um, reach onto this side where the ladybug is right now. And then if we rotate it this way, we notice how the mouse will end up on this side, which is, as we notice, opposite to the dog in this picture. So we know that the mouse is opposite to the dog. So if you notice, that leaves us with only the duck and the fly. So that means the duck has to be opposite to the fly, which means the answer to number seven is E. Number eight, Casper has the following seven pieces. We see this. He uses some of the pieces to co cover this grid completely without overlap. He uses as many different pieces as possible. How many pieces did Casper use? So we see we have the one piece here, then we have the two piece here, then we have the three piece here, and let's try the four piece. And then we see if we were to put the five piece, it wouldn't exactly cover it all, so that wouldn't work. What about this, and like, let's say we just put the five piece, we don't have another two piece, so five piece wouldn't work. What about the six piece? Well, if we put the six piece, it doesn't cover it at all. And what about the seven piece? Well, we know that the seven piece will cover it all. So that's how we know that we're going to use the seven piece here. So we have the one piece, the two piece, the three piece, the four piece, and the seven piece. And in total, these are five pieces. So the answer for number eight is C. Okay, guys, that is all of the three point problems. In the next video, we will be going over the four point problems, which I will post in around the, this week only. So just please remember to come back to my channel uh, anytime this week if you're watching it right now, like as soon as I released it. Otherwise, if you guys are watching it later, it most likely will already be posted. So why don't you guys go ahead and check that video out. And after the four point problems, I'll also be point, posting the five point problems, which is the problem that most people want to watch because those are the hard problems which most people want to understand how to solve. So yeah, stay tuned for those three videos and make sure to watch them because they'll help you know and understand how to solve those questions. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And yeah, that's all for this video. Bye!